All right. Uh, today is Tuesday. And I don't know if this is going to be my sale sale of the week because it's early. It's only Tuesday, right? Uh, but this is my first sale of the week. And I had made like, um, I had said like anything of around 100 bucks. I'll just say sale of the week because I don't really know. I don't sell a lot of stuff for 100 bucks or more generally. I sell yeah. a lot of 20 30 40 50 40 dollar stuff mostly so anyway, uh, what is this um this is a vintage christian dior men's travel case uh with cufflinks titex and more uh there's a picture of it uh, you know i'll scroll through the my pictures and then i'll just uh, let's see let me do this i'm doing this through, looking through the back of my camera there's one picture there's the case there's some cufflinks uh, there's some tie tacks, uh, tweezers. There's no tweezers. I don't know what that. Oh, those are the. They're uh, collar stays. Collar stays. Okay, <laughs> look like tweezers. What am I supposed to do? Here, I'll show you what it actually. So here's the case. The case wasn't even in in um, perfect condition. No, I took pictures up close of the damage. Yeah, I mean it's not bad. Uh, and I don't. Th is it leather? It doesn't feel like leather. I didn't say it was leather. Yeah, I think it's pleather. I think I said it was leather. Um, now, you said these have sold for as much as how much? Somebody sold one for almost 300 bucks, And I was shocked because the, one of the sets of cufflinks wasn't right. Oh, yeah. You said you because, included another uh, pair of cufflinks. Yeah, in I put in an extra pair of cufflinks. See how these cufflinks have a matching tie clip and these cufflinks have a matching tie clip. He had extremely... He had different tie clips here, uh, but the tie, they were like, they look like dumbbells and they look like they could have been gold. So maybe somebody bought the case because they thought those cufflinks were gold. Sure. Um, but I knew it wasn't the complete set because, uh, the, the cufflinks were wrong. Yeah. And also I think one of his tie clips or something was wrong. Um, you said most of the uh, most of the cufflinks and stuff weren't even signed, right? No, Which made you only, doubt yourself. Only the collar stays were signed. Only the collar stays. But then when I saw this other case and I had the same stuff I did, then I knew it was legit. Legit, right. and I yeah. actually had a complete case. Yeah. Maybe somebody's buying it for me and they're going to relist it, like you said. Yeah, I said maybe that. Which they, is possible. Yeah. I do you remember I, where you I got it? Like, How much you paid for it? I got it at a yard sale. Hmm. Um. I don't like selling things that are Christian Dior, but they're not signed. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. like. Well, they fake Christian Dior. Yeah. Um, no, they they fake Chanel and Tiffany more. I think. Yeah. Um, how much are uh, Christian? How much have we sold Christian Dior cufflinks for? Oh, I don't remember. Has Maybe it been like 40, 50? I had some box sets, and I think I got 50 to $70 for a box set. Okay. That's not bad, actually. So um, this is probably a pretty decent deal. I mean, maybe you could have uh, pieced it out and stuff, but you, uh, the, I no, know the reason you set, didn't. and they're I not know, signed. And they're not signed. So you would have been like, trust me, Christian trust me, Dior, <laughs> trust me on the internet, you know? And then uh, I, I can send you a bigger... Uh, I accidentally send you more money, so just send me back the rest, like the Nigerian scam or something like that. Um, right, so anyway, I'm going to just uh, predict this is my sale of the week. If I sell anything more than $100, I'll talk about it. Um, or something that's just like totally dumb that I got a lot of money for um, that nobody would expect. But as of this second in time, Tuesday, I have the rest of the week to go sale of the week right here. Christian Dior, uh, men's travel case. Uh, again, we sold it for a hundred. There's a chance that we could have got more if we were more patient. Uh, you ran this to auction, right? Yeah. Did not sell. Did you raise the price? It had a watcher. Yeah. No, I didn't raise the price. I left it. I oh, same price, it. ninety nine ninety nine. I probably paid like five bucks at a yard sale or something. Okay. Not... Yeah. Uh, I mean, when we get stuff cheap, uh, part of the process of getting your money back is moving on. Yeah, let somebody else do the hard work. Money on it because they know more about it than I do. Every once in a while, you got to let somebody else do the hard work. Otherwise, you'll never sell enough or anything or or whatever. I'll just this is what it looks like, so you can see. If you want, you could just look at my uh, listing on eBay if you want to take a better look. But there it is, sale of the week.